The Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Julde Jallo, recognized the Chamber of Commerce's vital role in driving economic growth, affirming the government's commitment to fostering dialogue with the private sector. He also emphasized their involvement in the Feed Salon initiative while highlighting the Chamber's indispensable leadership in expanding opportunities for agricultural investment. I also do encourage the Chamber of Commerce make it reflect the new trends. You get a lot of new players that will don't come. That's a lot. New companies that don't come. They don't open businesses. They don't build factories. They don't build industries. They don't they don't all be key players in the work of the Chamber of Commerce. We also agree with the Chamber of Commerce say also let we say together there with government, let we get experiences the outside of Sierra Leone, our other chamber of commerce and they play, then they walk and what's in the road. So we don't organize, what they do, we first trip, we go Guinea, we never in country. After that, we look for another English speaking country. We also talk about corporate governance in the sense that we see how what in the role where government will play for support the chamber of commerce. So we agree on certain things that we will do together. Christopher Forster, president of the Sierra Leone Chamber of Commerce, stressed the importance of ongoing dialogue between government and the private sector, asserting that collaborative efforts are instrumental in propelling national development. The meeting yielded constructive discussions and actionable insights. Well, the first takeaway is to have a technical working meeting with the National Investment Board and the Ministry of Trade and the Salian Chamber of Commerce. Yes. The second item would be also to get the Chamber to be more proactive in terms of membership, to capture the, the new investors coming in and give them all a stake in the Chamber. You know, when you have a stake in something, you support it and make sure it functions properly. Amidst ongoing renovations at the Siaka Stevens Stadium, rendering it unavailable for the Chamber's annual trade fair, both parties agreed to utilize alternative venues like the Bintumani Conference Center. This strategic move ensures that Sierra Leonean businesses have a platform to showcase their offerings. Salivuchar Nakamara, AYV News.